It all began in the Bay of Florianopolis. On the island of Ratones Grande stands one of Brazil's oldest solar power plants, built by Ricardo Huta. His plant supplies the historical fortress with electricity. The professor of renewable energy installed it 15 years ago. What has happened since then? Well, it's developed a lot. Originally, most of the installations were like this, with batteries for isolated systems where the grid doesn't come. Uh, and now it's starting to pick up more in the grid connected areas. But these standalone systems, they, they are still very important for rural areas, for rural electrification, where you don't have access to the utility grid. Florianopolis on the Atlantic Ocean is a city with 500,000 residents, almost all of whom travel by car. It's grown considerably in the past few years, and more than anything, it gets plenty of sunlight. And that's why Brazil's largest photovoltaic plant is being set up here. The one megawatt rooftop system will crown the building of the power generation company Eletrosol. Part of it has already been installed, and tours for schoolchildren are being conducted twice a week. Então, aqui em cima nós temos, é, placas... Here on the roof, there are flat silicon panels. Silicon is a material you find in stones. The sun shines on them, and the light is converted into electrical power. In Brazil, it's still a matter of informing people about solar energy. The school children here are experiencing it firsthand. Nine such demonstration plants are currently being built on the premises. Starting in August, they'll be generating 550 kilowatts of solar power and the rooftop units will produce another 450 kilowatts on top, a megawatt in all. Something completely new is being created here, not just for us at Electrosul, but for all Brazil. We're building a solar plant on the grounds of a public corporation. That's never happened before. It'll be the first large-scale solar power plant in Brazil and we're doing this in cooperation with the KFW. The KFW, Germany's development bank, is funding the project, not as a loan, but as a gift. They're plowing 2.8 million euros into it. Without that money, the project wouldn't be profitable for Electrosol. It would be too expensive compared to other energy sources. It's about triggering projects in markets. The 2.8 million is a comparatively small sum when you consider the kind of market that could develop here and the climate-friendly effect from which German industry can ultimately also profit if it can sell its products competitively here. Until just recently, these photovoltaic panels would have cost twice as much. The drop in prices in the sector makes solar power competitive even against hydropower. At least once a week, Electrosol manager Franklin Fabricio Lago flies out to his building sites. The power company is building several small plants. Brazil gets about 80% of its electricity from hydropower. That makes the country the front runner in renewable energy. But in periods of drought, like the one 10 years ago, that source of energy isn't reliable. We need to diversify Brazil's power portfolio. We have to be able to draw on all the natural energy resources, if only to satisfy the growing demands of the Brazilian economy. Energy flows are coordinated in the company's headquarters. It's possible many small power generation suppliers may soon be added to the portfolio. German energy consultants are lending a hand. The aim is to give private customers what they need to feed surplus solar power they produce into the grid. A new law was created in December to this end. It's already been described as a paradigm shift because Brazil's power supply was very centrally organized. Now it's being decentralized for the first time. Nowadays, customers can feed power directly into the grid, which has now been open to them 
so they can reduce their power bills. The new legislation is another reason the solar power industry is facing a sea change in Brazil. At the university, there's an old solar power unit. Professor Ricardo Ruta sometimes takes students up onto the roof. The renewable energy degree course doesn't just cover technology, but also business and management. Because of recent legislation, now we are starting to have more projects. And so there is a lot of interest picking up because there is uh, the prospect of having large solar power plants in Brazil. Brazil's economy is currently growing by just 1%. But 1% growth requires a gigawatt of extra power, a thousand times what the planned solar plant in Florianopolis will generate.